in them. Hey guys, how's it going? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's your Hello. day today, Nuri? Hello, guys. Fine, thank you. Everything great? Nice. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's your work today? So, how do you feel today? I feel good. Right. You? Great. How do you feel? This is great. All right, very good. Um, Frank, how was work today, Frank? Hello. Good evening. Uh, today must my day off. Oh, you had a day off today. All right. What about you, Oscar? How's how's everything today? My my day was very tired. It was tiring. All right. Well, good to hear that, I guess. No, um, all right, it's all good. All right, Maria Quintanilla, how are you? Hi, David. Fine, fine. Thank you. All right, great, good to see you. All right, guys, so let's get started, okay? So yesterday I, I uh, promised, oh, so you're in a you're in a different place now, Maria. <laughs> yesterday I didn't recognize you, now I do. All right, so I'm glad. All right, great. How, how was, uh, how was your, work, your workout today? Fine. It was good? Every day it is, yes, yes. <laughs> Do you rest? Do you rest? Do you have a date for resting? Yes, and normally Sunday. I, I do the same thing. I, I only rest on Sundays. Now, I, I started like three weeks ago, actually like four weeks ago, you know, um, but I only rest on Sundays. So I, I follow your same, you know, routine a week, right? So it's good, you know, it's good. <laughs> yes. All right, Jenny, welcome, Jenny. Nice to see you. How was everything today? Good evening. Yes, I had yeah. a good day. Yes. All right, great. Monica, welcome, Monica. Good Thank to see you. you. All right, great. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, so yesterday I told you that we were going to, that uh, we were going to practice, right? So that's what we're going to do today, guys. We are going to practice, okay? All right, so first thing we're gonna do, guys, I'm gonna send this to the WhatsApp group and I need you to solve it in couples, all right? And then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna take a look at the answers, okay? So what you have to do, guys, all right? You have a clause here, see? So hold on, you have two ideas here, right? So she worked for a man and then you have the man used to be an athlete Remember, to solve these exercises, okay, we have idea one, we have idea two. What do we use to join two ideas together, guys? We use a pronoun. You use a relative pronoun, remember? Right. All right, very good. Just one thing, guys, okay, regarding relative pronouns, okay? I will send this to the WhatsApp group, guys, so you have visibility, okay? However... I want to inform you that when we talk about relative pronouns, okay, you have to be worried we, what we use, uh, which which relative pronouns we use for what, okay? For example, guys, okay, if we're gonna talk about people, we are going to use what are we gonna use, guys? Who, who, who or that? All right, that. we're gonna use who or that, okay? Who you, or that? Exactly. You can only change that, right? So. You can say, I like people who play basketball. 
All right, got it? All right, so this is one clause, right? Or you can say, I like people that play basketball. Got it? So you can interchange it, right? Now, this is for people, guys, okay? Remember, this and this, guys, okay? Write it down in your notebook, okay? Write it down, guys, right? So who and that, guys, okay? We're going to use this for people, okay? Now, uh, which, guys, okay, which and that can, can also be used for, what do you think? Things. Thanks, okay? Animals. For very good. teams and animals. All right, very good. For things and animals, right? Whose, guys? Okay, whose? <laughs> All right. I don't know if you get the reference right now, guys. <laughs> or not. All right, so whose, guys? Whose is going to be used, guys, for possession, okay? But, but forget about who's right now, guys, okay? We're not going to talk about who's right now, okay? All right, and we're not going to talk about whom either, okay? I want you to talk to, remember, guys, who, which, and that, okay? So remember, guys, who can be used for people, which and that, uh, I mean, that that and who, and who, guys, can be used for people, which and that can be used for things and animals, okay? So, for example, I, you can say, I like the dog. Can I say, I like the dog who barks, uh, barks a lot? Can I say this, guys? No. No, why not? Because it's an animal. We because use it's an it. animal. We use, okay, that barks a lot or which barks a lot, right? Which. All right, very good, guys, very good, okay? So which. this is what you're going to do, guys. This is what you're going to do with the exercises, okay? Before we move on, guys, all right, let's have, all right, let's, uh, let's take a look at this, see? All right, so uh, who would like to help me read the first example, guys? That, that's the man who or that offer offer me the job. Very good. That's the man who offered me the job. Now, how many clauses do we have here? One, just one. How many clauses do we have here? Two. 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 We have two clauses, okay? How many, how many sentences do we have? One. 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 Very good, okay. Now, we can separate them, see? Because, remember, um, relative pronouns help us join two clauses together, okay? So, when I say, guys, what is the first clause that we got here? That's the man, right? Yes? The man. Okay, that's the man, okay? So, that's the man. All right. Now, which is the other idea that we have here? He offered me the job. So. He offered me, very good. He offered me, me the, job. the job. Okay, he offered me, he offered me the job. Okay, mm -hmm. good job, guys. So we have two ideas. So to join them together, right? We replace the pronoun, we replace the personal pronoun for mm -hmm. with a with a with a relative pronoun, right? Which is who or that. Got it? Yes. Take a look at the second example. Yes. Um let's see. Uh, Patty, help me read it, Patty. <laughs> I'm sorry, the second one. This one right here. My mother, older brother. Repeat, Who my does? mother's, my mother's older brother. Repeat. My mother, older brother. No, no, no. My mother's older brother. My mother's older brother. Uh -huh. Continue. Who does live in New York is coming to visit. Very good. Thank you. Thank you a lot, uh, Pat. Okay, so my mother's older brother, who lives in New York, is coming to visit, right? You can say who lives in New York or you can say that lives in New York, okay? Because you can interchange it, right? You can use one or the other one, okay? All right. Third example. Thank you, Pat. Uh, Oscar, help me read the third example. That's the house. In that they live, are they lives? Very good. Okay, that's the house in that or in, in which 
they lived all their lives. Repeat. That's the house in which they lived all, all their lives. That's the house in which that they lived all their lives. Very good. Okay. Good job, guys. Okay. So see. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay. All right. Um. So uh, let me take a screenshot, guys, and I'm gonna send this to the WhatsApp group. Okay. So I, re I repeat, guys. So you're gonna you're gonna work on this together. Todo el mundo va a trabajar en esto en parejas, okay, right? So you're gonna work in couples. Para resolver los ejercicios, there are two ideas. We have two ideas here. You're gonna point, you're gonna put them together. So you're gonna join them together using relative clauses, okay? Got it? All right. So again, guys, we're gonna we're gonna work in couples. We're gonna do what next? Les pregunto porque si no me preguntan después, guys, right? What are we gonna do, guys, after we get in couples? We're gonna solve Make the exercise. Interest. A relative closure. Very good. So what what is the exercise about? What are what are you supposed to do? My relative pronouns. All right, you're gonna join the two ideas together using using what? Relative pronoun. Relative pronouns, right? Very good. Remember, which relative pronouns do we use for people? Who or who? Who or right. that. what about what about things? Which or which, that? Which, which, or which or that? that? All right. Which, which or right? Which or no? Uh, okay. Yes, we use which. which or that. Okay. Very good. All right. All right. Okay. So I send you the first yeah. one. Uh, let me see you the other one. They All right. And let me send you the last one. Okay. Uh, uh, let me give you a tip. You can share the screen if you want, okay? Puede compartir la pantalla si quieren. So you can work, you know, you can be actually working together, okay? Remember, guys, turn on the cameras, okay? All right. You have to turn on the cameras. All right, guys. So uh, let's get started. Right. Let's go, guys. Let's go. This in my notebook? Yes. Is the, have... Make the exercise about the relative pronoun. Yeah, but yes. here in my notebook. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. Which I one? Have... I have three All here. Them. All, of, All them. of them. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Haley. Oh. Okay. Hey. You're welcome. The number one. Number one. David Sen. All right. So what? Um, are we clear? Hi, what teachers. We're you guys? Hey, hey, sorry, Rafa. I'm how sorry. are you? Sorry, I'm late tonight. Good evening. Uh, good evening, Rafa. Thank you. Uh, are we? Are we? Um, are we aware of what we're gonna do, guys? I actually don't. Right now, I was uh, explain Rafa. Okay, all right. So, so finish explaining what we're gonna do okay. to Rafa. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um. You're maybe um close to. Uh, David, what's the meaning uh -huh. of what's the meaning it's... of nearly? Merely. Nearly. Uh, nearly or merely? Near nearby. Near nearby, you mean? Nearby. Ah, pues eso. Nearby. <laughs> nearby. 
Nearby. <laughs> no, no Spanish. Okay. Uh, so nearby is someone or something that is close to you. Like for example, um, I have a I have a store nearby. So that means that I can get out of my house, you know, walk a couple of meters, and I have a store right next to me. You know, so it's close, right? Nearby. Nearby is like really nearby. close. No, yes, no. nearby. <laughs> nearby, not nearby, right? <laughs> nearby is like really, really close. Or what's the, the difference between nearby and near to? I don't know. There is no difference. The difference is the, the, the grammar structure because you put nearby at the end. Okay. Oh. oh, the store is nearby. Or you can say that the store is near me, right? Uh, so the store yeah. is nearby, right? Goes at the end of the sentence. But yeah, oh, it means okay. near, something near. Okay, thank you. All right. You're welcome. Any other question? You good? No, yet. All right. Yes. Glad to help. Uh, the, okay. The third, I sent an um, email. Six. Is okay, the... so were you any questions? Ah, it's another. I got it. I got it. I got it. You good? Yes, we're good. Right. Welcome. Tatiana is here too. Hey, Tatiana. Welcome back. How are you? All good. All right. So, so they're going to explain to you. Uh, Marcos and Adrian are going to explain to you what we're doing. Okay. Turn on your camera, and you too, Adrian. And uh, let's let's start working. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm. right. Hi, Tatiana. How are you? I'm sorry. Hi, Patty. You were working with Oscar, weren't you? Hi, teacher. Morning. Well, uh, morning. <laughs> that's okay. Morning. <laughs> hey, uh, you were working with Oscar, weren't you? Okay. W were you working with Oscar? Oscar. No. Con Oscar ¿sí? no. All right, you were supposed to be with Oscar. I don't know what happened to Oscar. Hold on. I'm going to get you together with someone else, okay? Okay. All right, hold on. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get Tatiana here. I'm so sorry, I didn't notice that you were alone here. Okay, I finished the homework. First one? Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm bringing Tatiana over here because you were supposed to be in couples, okay? But, okay. But, uh, all right, hold on. I drop a glass with was new, right? Huh? Yes. Hey, yes. Tati, Tati, um, uh, I have, I have someone who is alone right now. Could you please move over to that room? Thank you. Continue, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Number. How are you? How's the exercise? Any questions? Uh, no question, David. But we can share the screen. Okay. No worries then. Okay. Mm -hmm. No problem. Let me know when you finish. For All sure. Right, that's okay. We are sharing sentence in the chat for the moment. Okay, all right, sounds good. Which, 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 which. Any question, girls? Everything good? Yeah, it's good. Well, how are you? Right. Yeah. I will rock the computer. Which, 
which belong, belong to my father. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any question, guys? Everything good? Everything good, David. Thanks. Very good. Okay. Nice. Which belong to my father? The man is is the garden. Uh, that who that is wearing a blue jumper. jumper. Who I think. Uh huh. Who or that? Uh huh. Or that. Next, the girl okay. works in a bank. Number the girl is from 10. India. That, that or whom? Or who? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And number 11. My sister has three children. Who lives in Australia? Yes. Oh. Yes, and I can. Eleven says, My sister has three children. Oh no, I think it's my sister. My sister who lives in Australia has three children. Has three children. Write his own sentence. No. But uh, I didn't understand because it was another sound. Ah, Could yes. You repeat? Could you repeat it? If you are writing some sentence. Yes. Or not. I yeah. sent a uh, um, sentence. Uh, I will read it. This is the dog which didn't let me to sleep. Uh, that's one sentence I sent in the WhatsApp. You can say. Uh, which didn't allow me to sleep or which didn't let me sleep. But let ah. me to sleep doesn't exist, okay? You cannot use let plus an infinitive. It's called a causative verb, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, all right, very good. Didn't allow me to sleep, okay. Eleven. We are on number 13, teacher. All right, great. We have some doubt. Tell me. For example, in the number 11, it says, my sister has three children, and then says, my sister lives in Australia. Children, oh. not children, children. 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 Ch 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 children. 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 Children, all right. The cha, not, not sh, ch, like two children. 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 All right, no. Children. But continue. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Okay. But the question is is it okay if we say my sister who lives in Australia has three children? Yeah, that is correct. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Good job. How's it going, guys? Maybe. Everything good? Uh, yes. Uh, but just I have a question. Tell me. Uh, how can we uh, make the difference between uh, that and which? Because both are for things. But yes. in this case, just, just as an example, we 
choose which and they lived in a city which is in the north of England. Yeah. And because sounds better, but it doesn't matter if I uh, have had used that. It doesn't matter if you use that, no. No, you can no use that or all. which, same thing. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Very good. I have that. Okay. The man in the, is in the garden. Did you finish? Mm, no, not yet. Not yet, okay. Very Just good. two, two left. All right, very good. Oh, uh, no, I'm oh, sorry. So, yes. I drop a glass. All right, how are we doing here, guys? That. Hi, teacher. All right, almost done. Almost done. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> All right, almost done. Casi termina, yes? Yes. Okay. Very good. Entonces. <clears throat> I How are we doing, guys? Almost done? Uh, David, uh, we had a question in so, the WhatsApp group. Uh, Rodrigo sent uh, some images about uh, defining versus not defining rel relative clauses. But this is, these images uh, doesn't have a relationship with the current currently uh, exercise now. Oh, the the um, the images I sent you. I think those are aren't they aren't those the same images? Yes, they're the same. No, the, it's it is. You know, it has a lot of. So these uh, what, what's your question? I'm not understanding. They do. It, it is related to what we're doing. It is related to uh, relative pronouns. So what, what we're going to do in this in this exercise, David, I think I dropped the, the first sentence says, I dropped a glass, the glass was you. What we're going to do here? That's not the first one. What do you mean? I dropped the number six, you mean, not number one. I achieve. Yes, you're going to use that, guys. I gave you the instructions at the beginning. You said that you didn't yeah, have we're... questions. So what are the instructions that I gave you? We are going to put maybe I dropped a glass, which was new. Exactly. To 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 join the sentence with the exactly. relative with the relative pronoun. Exactly. Okay. Right. Did you get it, David? Yes. All right. So relative pronouns, right? You just join the sentences with relative pronouns. All right. The television, the television was stolen, which was bought 20 years old ago. That's it. I don't know. Uh -huh. That's the way that we, we have to do it. Hey, girls, how are we, how are we doing? Done. We are uh, explaining a little bit to yes, but, but it is because uh, I have problem with my uh, internet teacher. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay. sorry, Maria. What you were, what were you saying? I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Tell us. Help us explain to Ila, please, the use of relative pronoun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We are right. trying to explain, but you are the best. Okay, it's uh, it's it's you're gonna join two clauses together using relative pronouns. Relative pronouns are the ones that we studied yesterday. Do you remember the relative pronouns? That, which, who? Do you recall that, Ilda? Yes, teacher. All right. But for me, it's the problem uh, since the, the Tuesday uh, class because I have another activity in my work. Oh, and okay. Yes, I explain uh, Jonathan, and when say, uh, he says, uh, he say, no problem, Hilda, uh, you can the, the, to see the class on the YouTube. Did you watch the class on YouTube? Yes, but no, yesterday, no. Uh, see, that's a problem. Honestly, honestly, no. <laughs> right. You should have watched the class on YouTube yesterday, right? Yeah, because and, anyway. uh, Thursday and Thursday, teacher, I have another activity. 
in my that, work. I mm -hmm. understand. I understand. That's okay. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. But did, did you did you girl did you girl uh girls finish? Yes or no? Yes. Uh, yes. Monica and yes. Maria. Yes. Okay. We mm -hmm. have we have to continue it. Okay. We have to continue okay. with the class, but you can watch yes. the class from yesterday and then do complete the exercises. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Very good. Okay. So thank you. Uh, let's go back. All right. Let's see, guys. So, oh. don't look at my WhatsApp. All right. So let's um, let's see, guys. Let's see what, what you get, what you got. All right. So who wants to give me number one, guys? So how well, how how do we do number one? Do you have a friend who lives? Da -da -da -da? Hold on. This is not okay. Hold on. I'm sorry. This one. Number one, guys, she worked for a man, the man used to be an athlete. She worked for a man who used to be an athlete. Very good. An athlete. Repeat, athlete. 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 Okay, so athlete. She athlete. athlete. All right. Great athlete. job, guys. So the answer is she worked Ooh. for a man Ooh. who used to be an athlete. Okay, very good. Athlete. All right. Uh, number two, guys. What's number two? They called a lawyer that lived nearby. They called a lawyer that lived lawyer. nearby. Who or that, uh, right, lived nearby, okay? Guys, if you have any questions regarding vocabulary, please go ahead and ask me, okay? Very good. Number three. What's number three? Send an email. I sent an email to my brother. To my brother what? That. That or who, right? Lives in Australia. Okay. Very good. Number four. What's number four? The Could customer so? lie. Huh? The customer? <laughs> the customer lie. The waitress. Liked, not lie. Liked. Light. Mm -hmm. the, the waitress. Waitress, okay. Mm -hmm. Huh? Who was very friendly. Who was very friendly. Good job. Good job. See? See, guys, you're very smart. All right. Very good. Um, it's Jessica. Give me number five, Jessica. Did I have a Jessica or... Or the Jenny, I, where did I say Jessica? <laughs> Jenny, let's go. Okay, we well, broke the computer. We broke the computer. Mm -hmm. Which belonged to my father. Which belonged, belonged. Repeat, belonged. 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 Okay. belonged. 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 My father. Belonged. All right. So we broke the computer father. which belonged, belonged to my, my father. father. Okay. All right. Very good. Perfect, guys. Okay. This is a 10. Okay. Do you remember this one, guys? Hold on. How was it? Something like this, right? Hold on. <laughs> Something like that, right? <laughs> End of Yuka. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right. Number six, guys. Uh, let's see. Rafael, give me number six. With Rafael, we are two. <laughs> uh, Rafael Mayen. Okay. Uh, I drop, I drop a glass. Huh? Sorry, I drop a glass. It was broke. I don't know why I, why I. That was new. That was that new. That was Sorry. new. Okay, so you that was said. New. I dropped, the, I dropped that glass, right? Or that, that glass. That was new. That was new, okay? Now you're gonna use the article that here because here you're using that, guys. It's referring to, you know, a specific type of glass, okay? Very good. Um, okay. Who wants to give me number seven, guys? Another person, another person. All right, let's go, number seven. She loves boot. She loves books. That have. That have. Happy endings. Happy endings. Repeat happy endings. 
Endings. Okay. Endings. 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 Right. Beautiful. Who wants to give me number eight, guys? Another person. Let's go. Number eight. Quickly. They live in a city that is in the north of England. They live in a city that is in the north of England. Uh, guys, can I use which is in the north of England here? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Very good. Um, Monica, let's go. Number nine. The man is in the garden. Uh -huh. Who is wearing a blue jumper? Okay. Very good. Okay, now, now, guys, listen to that. Does that make sense to you guys? The man is in the garden who is wearing a blue jumper. No. We you can say the man who is in the garden is wearing a blue jumper. Very good. The, very good. The man, right? The man who, who is, is in the garden. In the garden is wearing, wearing a, blue, a jumper. blue jumper. Okay. Close enough, Monica. Okay. All right. Close enough. All right. Because uh, now remember, guys, what we're substituting with who here, guys, is the man, right? The man who, right? That's why, you know, who comes next, guys, because what we're substituting here is the man. All right. Thank you, Monica. All right. Number 10, guys. Who wants to give me number 10? Francisco, let's go. Um, the, the girl works in a bank um, that is from India. The same thing. All right. This is the exact same mistake as before. The, the girl that works in a bank. Very good. That is, works. Is from India. Is from India. There you go. All right. Very good. Okay. The, the girl that works in a bank is from India. All right. Very good. Maybe a question. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You can say in the other way, right? Which other way? For example, the girl who is from India works in a bank. Yeah, you can say that too. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, that is also correct. All right, very good. Um, all right, number 11, guys. Let's go with number 11. What's the answer for number 11? My sister has three children uh, who lives in Australia. Pronunciation. My sister has three what? Children's. Children's, Children. really. Children. Three children. Ch children. Ch children. Chucho. Children. 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 Very good. Children. Not children, guys. Guys, you don't say shusho. Hey, shusho. Right? No, you say chucho, right? So it's that ch, no sh. Children. Okay? Children. My oh, sister no. has three children who Lips. live. Well, this guy's sorry. now, huh? Ha, 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 ha. Hold on, hold on, hold on, okay? Okay. This is wrong, okay? But why? Let's analyze it. What's wrong with this uh, sentence, guys? Uh, who's who's my lives there? Who has three children who lives in Australia? It's, okay. it's for, me, for me, it's my sister who lives in Australia exactly. has two children. Why, guys, take a look. My sister, mm. my sister. Who are we talking about? Are we talking about my sister or are we talking about the children? My sister. About my sister. sister. Talking about my sister, sister, right? So my sister. Who my lives in sister Australia? Who lives in Australia. Not our guys. Australia. Australia. All right. Has three children, okay? Children, right? Chucho, no Children. Children. Right. Very good. Children. All right, very good. Uh, Adrian, number 12, Adrian. Okay, we got the, the, the waiter uh, who was wearing a blue shirt was rude. Shirt was rude, okay. So the waiter who was wearing a blue shirt was rude. Good job, all right. Good job. Uh, 13. Who wants to give me 13, guys? Um, Hilda, Hilda. All right. Uh, no. are we, did, did you understand how the dynamic works now? Maybe, teacher, but uh, I don't have 
uh, all, all clear. All right, so we have idea number one, idea number two, and these need to be substituted by a relative pronoun, pronoun right? All yeah. right, a relative pronoun is either, if we're talking about people, who, or that, or you can, if, if you're talking about uh, things, you can use which, which, or that, right? Correct. Right. Very good. So this is in the previous class, but let's try a deal that, right? Let's try to see okay. if we can figure this out. So how do you join these two ideas together? Let's start with the money, okay, the money. The money that belong. That belongs, very good, okay. Uh -huh. Money that to belongs John, to John, John is in the kitchen. Beautiful, okay, it's in the okay. kitchen. Good job, okay. let's reel there, guys. Good job. Okay. Yeah. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, all right, well done. All right, uh, good job. Number 14, guys, who wants to give me number 14? Me? Sorry. Go ahead. Table. I, th I think your microphone is not working. The table that. Okay, the table that. Who, me? Yes. The table, the table that. The table that was my grandmother's. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got broken. Beautiful. The table that was my grandmother's got broken. Good job. Beautiful. That one, that one, guys, okay, I, I expected you to find more difficult. Okay, Tatiana, number 15, Tatiana. All right, let's go with number 15. I don't know what it says. It says, can you see, guys? It says, do you know someone? Oh, this, oh, hold on. No, 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 no. that's not it. It says, the television was stolen. The television was brought 20 years ago. I mean, let's let's all right the television was stolen the television was brought was bought 20 years ago the television mm -hmm. um, the television the television that that um is stolen that was stolen uh -huh. that was stolen bow to bow was bought 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 hmm? was bought 20 years ago 20 years ago right very good good job okay well done, guys. Well done, all right? Here's your 10. <laughs> all right, good job, guys. Good job, okay? Well done, well done, well done, okay? All right, guys, be honest with me. Do you feel comfortable with this topic now? Do we understand what is a relative pronoun? Raise your hand if you understand what a relative pronoun is. I think so. All right. Raise your hand, right, guys? Everybody, raise your hand if you understand what a relative pronoun is. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, raise your hand if you understand why why we use relative pronouns. For what we use relative pronouns? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. All right, Ricardo? No. Okay, all right, very good. Okay. Fifty fifty. Fifty fifty. Okay. So, who can tell me what we use relative pronouns for, guys? Who remembers? What do we use relative pronouns for? When they need more information. No, relative pronouns. Combined. What do we use them for? For to join. Uh, to combine. Combine two clauses. To join two clauses together. Okay, that's it. All right. Very good. Two clauses together. All right. Great job, guys. Great job. Okay. 
All right. Now, is that is that clear, Ricardo? Yes. No. Yes. Sorry. Right, yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So then you got it, guys. Okay. Do we know what a relative plus is, guys? Now, uh, I'm going to tell you, a relative clause, guys, is whatever clause starts with a relative pronoun. What is it? A relative clause. A relative is clause a... is whatever clause starts with a relative pronoun. So when I say, you know, I saw the man who bought this car for me, for me, from me. So who bought this car from me is the relative pronoun because it starts with a relative. I mean, it's a relative clause because it starts with a relative pronoun. Yes. Easy, guys, right? Si inicia con un relative pronoun, es una relative clause. Yes? O sea, si inicia con that, which, or whose, or who, all right, that is a relative pronoun. Now, let me ask you something, guys, okay? All right, quick question for you guys. All right? Hey, no me busquen por la letra, guys. Estoy escribiendo con un mouse, okay? <laughs> I'm using a mouse to, to write this down. So, hey guys, let me ask you, is this, uh, where is the relative pronoun here? Donde tenemos relative pronoun here? In the who? word who? who? No, <laughs> this is not a relative pronoun. It's a question. All right, this is a WH, yeah, this is a WH word, okay? Guys, the word itself, guys, is not a relative pronoun, okay? La palabra en sí no es un relative pronoun, es el uso que le das, guys. Todo en gramática, guys, puede ser cualquier cosa, all right? Si yo te digo eso, guys, if I say this, guys, Dr. Who, is this a relative pronoun, Dr. Who? Yes. Oh, it's a noun. It's a noun. Right? It's a noun. All right, this is a noun, guys, okay? Sí, esto no es ni una doble question, ni es un relative pronoun, it's a noun. So whatever word, guys, can be anything in grammar, most of, you know, it's sometimes, it depends on the use you give it, okay? Depende del uso que vos le vayas a dar esa palabra, got it? If you're going to ask a question like this, this is not a relative pronoun. This is this is a relative. I mean, this is a WH question. See, who are you? Why? Because you're using it to ask a question, not to join two ideas together. Got it? Got it, guys? Got it. Got it. All right. Very good. Yeah. What about these guys? Uh, what about if I say I like, let's change the color. Let's change the color. Let's use something I like. Okay. So what if I say, guys, I like that apple i like that apple where's the relative pronoun here that There's no no no, no. <laughs> that no. again no why is, is this not a relative pronoun here because it's not relating to ideas or... exactly we exactly. have ideas exactly guys because it is not joining two ideas this mm. right here guys is working remember this is describing a noun. What is what, what is something that describes a noun, guys? An adjective. An adjective, okay, adjective. right? So this is an adjective, okay? Okay, this is an adjective. What type of adjective is it? Demuestra algo, right? So it's a demonstrative adjective. Got it? See? Got it. All right, yeah. very good, guys. So. Don't, don't get confused with that, okay? It's not about the word, guys, okay? If I say, guys, hey, you know, uh, my girlfriend's name is beautiful, all right? So her name is beautiful, guys, right? She's, ella le, le llamaron beautiful, okay? Así le pusieron su papá, beautiful, okay? Is that an adjective? Is beautiful an adjective in that case? No, it's a noun. No, no it's a noun, see? <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, it's a proper name, which is actually a noun, okay? All right, does that make sense, guys? Yes? Yes. Yes. All right. Um, so, um, anyways, guys, so last thing we're going to do, guys, is uh, we have uh, I have, um, have uh, some conversation topics here. I want you to just talk naturally, guys, okay? Do not I, – I really, guys, I, I, I will emphasize on this, okay? I do not want you – to think about relative pronouns, relative clauses right now, just answer the question. Relative pronouns and relative, relative clauses will come out naturally, okay? I'm going to say it in Spanish, guys, okay? Uh, solo responda la pregunta. No quiero que estén enfocándose en si estás hablando con relative pronoun, relative clause or not. 
Solo quiero que hablen. Las relative clauses y relative pronouns van a salir automáticamente de tu boca. Si vos estás hablando natural para responder eso. ¿Got it? ¿Got it, guys? Got it. Got All it. right. So, for example, yes. see? Hey, do you have a friend who lives in another city? All right. Yes. Uh, your answer could be, you know, in my case, right? I'm going to say, yes. I do have a, have a friend who lives in another city. All right. Uh, his name is Rafa. He uh, he lives in he lives in uh, Soya Pongo, right? He lives in Soya Pongo, which is a very uh, which is a very dangerous. No, actually, which is a very safe city. You know, all right. So he lives in Soya Pongo, guys. All right, and which is a very safe city. So see, right? We have a relative clause here already. And it's just talking naturally, right? All right. Got it, guys? So just talk naturally, okay? All right. We only have, guys, four minutes. Okay. So let's do the best out of those four minutes, guys. And uh, let's practice, okay? Let's go, guys. Hey, all right, so your partner is about to come here. I have no, oh, there you go. Hi, Yuri. Hello. Oh, I Nuri, hear you. Nuri, you're muted, Nuri. <laughs> no. No, no. You good, guys? Tell me. Oh, uh, oh, you want the uh the <laughs> yeah the slide, right? The the questions. Sorry. Sorry, 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 guys. I forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot. All right, there you go, guys. Sorry. Everything good, Oscar? Good to hear, good to see you here, man. Bakery. Bakery is, right? Bakery. Ah, uh, yes. I, I hey, San, Santos, how do you feel? Uh, how do you chef. feel? This? Uh, Hi, it's, uh, it's, it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult? Um, a little bit, because I, I, I didn't have <laughs> had that, this topic before. Yeah, these are more advanced topics, right? Mm. But uh, it's interesting. But but how do you like the, um, the classes in general here? Well, I like the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And how, how do you like um, the night? You know, like like the structure and everything. Um, the structure it, it can be it's so different because uh, you can use like the the pronoun and after you use the the verb to be it's like it's not normal <laughs> it, it doesn't make too much sense it doesn't make too much sense to you right? mm, um uh, yes it's 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 um all right just just practice it okay it, it will come out naturally after you practice it many times all right yes uh any I question wish. Maylin? no i practice it with francis francisco all right. All right sounds good sounds good thanks thanks, thanks david thanks to you guys tequila park tequila Tequila. Yeah. Yeah. Good language, okay. tequila. All good, guys? Okay. Okay. Ricardo talking about of uh, his uh, brother that he's living in Guadalajara 20 years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. Have yeah. you ever been to Mexico yourself? Uh, no, he is in a scholarship in the Guadalajara University. Okay. All right. So, okay. That's great, man. That's great. That's yeah. really, really good. All right. So, uh, continue practice, guys. Okay. Okay. No, I can uh, read my case, and, uh, yes, number. I buy um, many tools, or buy, 
and really <laughs> I don't need <laughs> I'm in my car I'm many uh, shoes uh, like uh, tennis tacones <laughs> yes. no Spanish and, uh, and clothes high heels I hear high okay. heels repeat high heels okay high heels that's how you say tacones don't say how, tacones right how do you say okay. how do you to say tacones high heels high heels high heels high heels yes. and the cover the the, the, the cell phone uh, case. I really I need that's your um, case your cell phone case. case yes yes this is another example mm -hmm. okay <laughs> what are you talking about and the uh, um question number two teacher about if you things do that buy we things buy, but we don't need uh, that oh, okay buy you things that you don't need, need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah you're right i uh i used to be one of those people <laughs> <laughs> i mean i think we all we all are aren't we um we all buy things that we don't need you know um well, what about you uh, monica what do you what do you buy I usually buy things like, um, I don't know, how can I say that? Chunchito. Chunchito, my God. Guys, don't speak in Spanish, okay? <laughs> well, I don't know. You uh, can describe them, rings. right? If you don't know how to say it, describe it. Describe it. Rings. And... Giddy dog. <laughs> uh, okay, earrings. <laughs> Necklaces, okay. Okay, earrings, okay. <laughs> All right. Things like that. <laughs> but, 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 but you're in a girl. Clothes. You need it. I mean, you need it, right? I mean, we uh, no. really no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what about you, Maria? What do you buy that you don't need? Maybe shoes too. Uh, um, the, uh, uh, sport shoes. Sport shoes, okay. But yes, you need many. them because you exercise <laughs> a lot, right? Now, Listen. Take take a look at how 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 yes, interesting but... this is because I was used to say by answering these questions you can use the clothes without noticing, right? I usually buy earrings that are very expensive. See, I buy earrings that are very expensive. See, All right? Si caso usualmente siempre compro aritos que son muy caros. Ese que son muy caros is the clothes that we're talking about. See, All right? So so Maria, you were saying Maria, I'm sorry for interrupting. No, 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 it's okay. No, I I buy uh, many shoes, sports shoes. Okay, all right. Very good. Oh my God, guys, take a look at the time. We have to go back. Okay. okay. You got me distracted here. Let's okay. go. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, I hope you liked the class today, guys. Goodbye. I have to go, guys. It's 9 p.m. I have another class already, guys. See ya. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Take care. Okay.